So we left off on example four from lesson five, and we're going to go up to just example seven. So three more. Okay. And what we're doing now, Rachel, is we're saying, can we make a four or five step argument? Can we, given some evidence, much like a court of law, are, are you cluing in our legal system is really based on the same idea. This is one of the reasons the book elements was so revolutionary. Our whole legal system is based on it. So in example five, it wants us to prove well, what does it want us to show, Rob? Uh, there's something in front of letter H and something. Okay. It wants us to sh somehow show that these two angles are the same. How will I do that? Well, one way to do this would be to show maybe if those two angles are the same. And then if I can show that those two angles are the same then because every triangle adds to 180 degrees, if two of the angles match, the third angle has to match. Let, let, let's see. Rob, read that to me. How do I know? No, no, no. How do I know? Ah, given. This was People's Exhibit 1. And we agreed last day that we're going to use the letter G as our abbreviation for given. Yes? Oh, and as soon as I write something down, Emma, I want to label it on my diagram too. So since I just said those two angles are the same, uh, I'll put a, how about a little check mark and a little check mark, whatever symbol that you want to. Or another way that you can show two angles are the same page is you can go like this. If you draw a little arc right there, a little arc right there, if you go double hash mark, double hash mark, those are the same, or triple hash mark, triple, or single hash mark, single hash mark, or quadruple hash mark, quadruple hash mark, that's a little bit overkill. <coughs> Whichever method you want to use, they're all fine. And you'll notice, Sam, we started leaving the numbers behind. We started out last day with angles where I actually gave you degree values. And now we're trying to say, let's generalize this so that no matter what these angles were, this would still be a true proof. Speaking of Sam, what's the next line? Read it to me. Stop. Angle G, J, H. That's this one here. Yep. J. J, L, that's this one here. It's saying those two angles are the same. Was that a given? Then there must be a way that I can reason that. We must have a binding case precedent already on the books. How do I know that these two angles are the same size? Anyone? Ah, vert up. Going to our court of law example, Tanner, I would have said, and judge, you may recall from people, people the vert up that those two angles, we refer to our previous case. And the judge would say, yeah, okay, enter it into evidence, or let it be so noted. Uh, law and order, huge, huge fan of law and order back when it was on. <clears throat> Colleen, what's the last line? Which I was trying to show, apparently I have enough information to convince my dumb jury that these two angles have to be the same. How do I know these two angles have to be the same? Are these two angles the same? Are these two angles the same? What shape is this? What shape is this? What does every triangle add to? 180. So if those two match and those two match, what can you say? They match. Now, if you said it was because of angle sum of triangle, I'd take that. If you want to, the fancy one is this. Third angle in a uh, triangle. If two angles match, the third angle has to match. Why, Kiara? Because angles have to add to 180. And so if I have two pairs, the third, I have to have a third pair automatically. But if you wrote angle sum of triangle, or if you just wrote something like, because the two angles match, the third one is the same, I'll take that. I'm, I'm not going to be too fussy on some of these uh, conclusions. I'm going to be fussy when it's an actual rule from our yellow sheet. Is that okay, Joel? Three lines. Nice proof. Two more and we're done. Sample six. Oh, this one's a little longer. Okay. Nicole, what are we trying to show? As soon as I see the word parallel, this last line right here, I'm either going to be writing uh, corresponding or alternate interior or co-interior, the three parallel line rules. I'm going to try and force feed either a Z, 
alternate interior, or a C co-interior, or an F corresponding. I don't know which one. It's going to depend on the givens. Zach, what's the first line? Can you read it to me? Good. How do I know? Okay, let's write that, and now let's label that on our diagram. DEF, that's this one here, equals angle DEG, that's this one here, equals this one here. You know what? I'll use hash marks this time instead of symbols. Those all three are the same. Before I move on to the next line, what do I now know based on that information? What else do I now know? Can you see it? If all three of these angles are the same, what does that mean, Jake? They're each 120. And I bet you that's my next line. Let's look and see. It says angle DEG equals angle DEG. This guy equals, what did you say it was, Jake? How do you know? Ooh, you even got the rule. Angles at a point. Yeah. And I'll put a little... 120 degrees right there. By the way, David, that also means this is 120 and this is 120, but since they haven't bothered bringing those into evidence, I'm not going to bother labeling it because I don't want to confuse my jury. I will if I have to, but for now, I always like to try and go with the, what we call the most elegant proof, the bare minimum of information. Speaking of David, what's the next line say? Can you read it to me? Equals... How big is angle EGH? How do you know? Ah, oh. 60, given. Oh, and you know what, Tanner? Let's write that in here. 60 degrees, right there. EGH. And then it says, oh, jury. Hello, jury. Dumb jury, we want you to notice something. We want you to notice that angle DEG, this guy, and angle DGH, this guy, are supplementary. Now, what does supplementary mean? It means that they add to, do they? Yes. What am I going to write for a reason? If you said they add to 180, I would take that. If I want to sound impressive, I would say, hey, That's the actual definition of supplementary. But if you just said they add to 180, we're pointing out, we want the jury to notice, hey, yoo-hoo, hello, did you notice, did you notice they add to 180? They do. Why does that help? On my last line, which parallel line rule have I force-fed into this diagram? Is there a Z? No. There's this, uh, which one was the C? I heard it here. You know what? I've force-fed, since these two angles add to 180, I think that's what co-interior said. Yes, it said co-interior angles add to 180. I have force-fed interior angles on the same side of the transversal coal, which we said could be written as co-interior. Case closed, guilty, or innocent if you're a defense lawyer. Nicole, am I going to put 15 of these on your geometry test? One, maybe two. Ideally, I'd like to go with one medium one and one easy one. If I can't find one medium one and one easy one, it'll be one longer medium medium one. Last one. Number seven. Used to be number six, but I had to cross it out. Okay. This is about as tough in fact, you know what? This is probably tougher than I'll throw at you on a test. But in your homework, ideally we found the homework we find the homework tougher than the test. Ashley, what am I trying to show? Okay. I'm trying to show that these two are parallel. Now there's a few ways to do it. Ashley, can you see the potential for a Z? 
if I use that approach, I'll end up showing that those two angles are the same. That might work. Or I might be able to go all co-interior E on you if I can show that this and this add to 180 or that this and this add to 180. Which method will I use? I'm going to let the givens tell me. Adrian, read that to me. GK equals GH. How do I know? Oh. And is that marked on my diagram for me? No, it was in the first few examples that we let's mark that on our diagram. GK, I'll put one hash mark, is equal to GH, I'll put one hash mark. As soon as I write that, there's now something screaming out at me on the diagram. Do you see something that has just appeared on our diagram that wasn't there before but now is officially? What do you notice? I saw isosceles. How much do you want to bet this next blank line wants me to mention that not only are those two sides the same, I'll bet you those two angles are the same. I, I, I'm not sure yet because this is the first time that we have a completely blank line. Let's come back to that. What do they want me to write here? Joel, what's this say? Oh, I, I bet you the next given is going to go there, HK bisect. So you know what? I think you're right. Okay? Now, ready? Look up. Don't write this down. I'm going to do it the long way, and then I'll show you a shortcut that you're allowed to do. First of all, Joel has correctly pointed out that the rule is going to be isosceles triangle. I agree with that. Page, here is the long way, and I don't want you to write this down. Joel, I want to show that this angle and this angle are the same, and I could go angle GKH equals angle GHK, and that is perfectly acceptable. But if you want to do a bit less writing, Paul, now that we're getting the hang of this, I am okay if you put a 1 there and a 2 there, and you write angle 1 equals angle 2. You can write that down if you want to. You can label angles with diet with numbers if you want to, Cole. Or you can use all three letters. I don't care which. I find the number is clearer. What's angle 1? Can you see it? What's angle GHK? i got to think about it and kind of trace it up. I just find it. Now, Tatiana, the next thing it says is given. Can you read this and this second line? So these two, this here is the next given. Can you read that to me? HK bisect. What does the word bisect mean? It's an English word. It's not a grade three English word. What does the word bisect mean? Pardon me? Uh, that's intersect. Close? Same root word, same suffix. Page. And here's the key. It doesn't just split into two parts. It splits exactly in half. Okay? Because I can split something into two parts and have them be uneven. But when they say the word bisect, that, you know what? Worth writing down. Split. exactly in half. So, when it says H, K, bisects angle G, K, J, given, I have to explain to the jury what this means. Kayla, what does the next rule on my next line say? What's the reason it wants me to use? The whole thing. Definition of angle bisector. What does bisect mean? It splits exactly in half. So let's see. Apparently, HK bisects angle G. K, J. Apparently, H, K splits this exactly in half. You know what that means, Joel? 
How big is this angle compared to this angle? How do I know they're the same size? Psst. How do I know they're the same size? It's the definition of bisector. How about I'm going to put a little 3 right there, and I'm going to say angle 1 equals angle 3. Or you could use the three-letter approach, too. I'm fine with that, Jacob. But I find this easy. Oh, and I'll put a little black dot there, too. That says angle G H K. Hey, I think that's angle two, isn't it? Yes. Equals angle H K J. I think that's angle three. It's saying, hello. This angle and this angle are the same. How do we know? No, it's not alt int yet. We're going to use alt int to prove that they're parallel. How do I know that these two angles are the same size? Can you see? Angle 1 is the same size as what? Angle 1 is the same size as what? Oh, if angle 1 is the same size as angle 2 and angle 1 is the same size as angle 3. Joel! Hit me with it between the eyes. Sorry, what? Now, you can't say they each equal the same thing. But we can use that word. I saw Jacob looking madly to look it up. Did you actually remember it? Yeah. Woohoo! Transitivity. Trans. If A equals B and C equals B, then A equals C. It's that, it's that little, it's called a syllogism. It's that little bit of three-line reasoning right there. So, I now know that angle and that angle are the same. Which parallel line rule have I force-fed into here? Co-interior? Oh, what, 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 what? Because what letter do you see? See the Z? None of us see a Z. You might, Yankee person, go home, but we see a Z, baby. We see a Z. So what's your official homework? I already said you could try number one. I haven't yet made up an answer key. I'm going to try and get one done during class today or in the next couple of days. I don't have one online yet. But for some of these also, it really depends on just how you... how. I'll take if you explain to me how you figured it out. So I may use the short formal word like transitivity. If you just said they're both equal to the same thing, I'm good with that. I'll mark this pretty leniently. So I assigned what? One, two, and three, and four. I think you can try five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hey, bisects. And ten. What's this symbol right here mean? What does perpendicular mean? In fact, if you look at number 12, no, 6, sorry. Uh, given and this angle and this angle are each 90 degrees because that's the definition of perpendicular. There, I just filled in two for you. You can also work on the take-home quiz. You have the remainder of class. Today's bell schedule is a little bit weird. So I have right now 103. You have till 135. You got a full half hour to whittle away at these. Will you get them all done in class today? I'll go over these on Monday or Wednesday. Well, I'll go over the take home quiz Monday. I'll probably go over these on Wednesday. We're nearly done the unit. Mentally, I have about two more lessons. I'm shutting up.